I wanted to speak a little bit about the second topic of my upcoming mini intensive called Awaken Free in the World, which begins next weekend, September 23rd. If you're interested in joining, you can check my comments below or my link or my website, liberationis.com. The second topic is called the fertile soil of experience. So what do I mean by the fertile soil of experience? Fertile implies life. And uh, soil in this metaphor implies the experiences that come out of life. And what I mean by this being fertile, these experiences being fertile, is that often we, uh, we feel that the pleasant moments of life, or when we're given a gift, or we feel some gratitude or love, or something great happens, or we maybe have a moment of you know, bliss or some divine something, we feel these are gracious moments. And certainly they are, of course, no doubt about it. But on the other hand, we often consider the uh, unpleasant and challenging moments of life to be something not gracious, we would not say. We would not call them grace, would we? But I see this in a different way, you know. I see that those moments that are painful or challenging are an invitation. And what is the invitation to? The invitation is to turn our attention away from the experience and to see something different <clears throat> about who we are, which I call our eternal being of peace. And this is ever present. It's always been present our whole life. We have just overlooked it. For some of us, maybe for all of us, these moments can occasionally turn us towards something else, a different light, the light of our own being. And if it does that, then I would say that moment is grace. Because for me, the most valuable thing to come to know is my essential eternal being of peace and freedom. Of all of the many appearances of life, which have value, of course, friends, family, a good career, if that's what you want, money, and all of those things are, of course, valuable, absolutely. But all of those things can be taken, and they will all go, obviously. But what doesn't go and what can never be taken? This is a very real what I'm sharing. It's not a, like an aloof spiritual fantasy or something. It's very real, the natural human condition. But because our attention has been placed on the objects that are coming and going, the objects that cause pleasure and pain, and looking to all of those objects for contentment, fulfillment, completion, and all of those things, and being disappointed also quite often by those objects. We have overlooked completely our whole life that which is already content and fulfilled, and which has always been here and has always been who we are, actually. We haven't been shown properly. So once we have come to know this, and once we are shown this properly, and it's true for everyone, then in the moment of a painful or challenging experience, there's a new opportunity. And that's the gracious opportunity of life tapping us on the shoulder and saying, excuse me, look, look here, look who I am, look here now, see again, see that you're okay, safe, peace, content, fulfilled in and of yourself without needing anything else for completion. So to me, that's the movement of grace in life. Or 
even more so, it's the movement of love saying, dear, you're okay. Come back home to me and see that everything is okay. And because of this new way of being, life can become much more ease. It doesn't mean the challenging moments stop happening. Of course they do for everyone. There's no avoiding challenging moments. There's no avoiding pain. But we argue with those things and say, I don't want that. I only want the pleasant things. But life doesn't only provide the pleasant things. I can speak for myself, and I'm sure you all could relate. Life does not only provide pleasant moments. It also provides painful and challenging moments. So I always say, why argue? Both are there. So now, coming to know this, having this paradigm shift in our being, as I said a few minutes ago, it's a new opportunity when these experiences happen that we don't like so much. It's the opportunity to come home for a moment and see something different. And I say this is huge in one's life. It's no small thing. Some people like to use words like awakening or liberation. I've used that word <laughs> ad nauseum. <laughs> Enlightenment, whatever you want to call it. But there's no more awakening than this moment. This moment now is awakening itself, you know. And this is very possible, very possible and life-changing. And this is... This is the message that I received many years ago and I've been sharing now for many years as well, that there's another way of being in this very challenging life that can bring contentment and peace. Not always, mostly. <laughs> and we'll have our moments for sure. But when we see those moments as an, an op opportunity instead of as a, an obstacle, that's a very big. So I hope to work with you on this because you will find for yourself the, the value of what I'm speaking about here in your own life. So join me Sunday on Facebook and YouTube for a live stream, followed by a Q&A we'll have on, on Zoom, actually, in a private meeting there afterwards. And that's um, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, Sunday. And if you'd like to find out more information about my upcoming mini-intensive, Awaken Free in the World, which is starting next Saturday, September 23rd, you can find it in the comment below or my bio over here or over here, or on my website, liberationis.com. I hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot.